Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Weather-wise, pretty nice weekend here in southern New England. We are looking at changes overnight. Rain moves in and it likely will be sticking around for at least a few days. <laughs> Let's take a look at the live radar. We're generally dry at the moment, but rain not too far away, broadening out a little bit. You can see the rain working its way into central Connecticut and arrives in our area after midnight. It'll be around for a portion of the morning commute. Tomorrow's not a washout. In fact, that rain not overly impactful. Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll see periods of heavy rain and some strong winds as we talked about earlier high wind watch in effect we could be looking at some power outages as a result of those strong winds now on wednesday the strongest of the winds will be in the morning and then they slowly kind of diminish as we go through the afternoon and the rain will be winding down especially during the afternoon on wednesday so kind of a prolonged storm for us ahead for tuesday and wednesday here's new bedford lots of clouds but we're dry and in uh, providence we are looking at cloudy sky Guys, we're still dry. Temperature at 51 degrees with a calm wind for now. Calm before the storm, I guess. 48 Smithfield, 47 in Glendale. Coventry's at 49, 50 in Newport, upper 40s in uh, New Bedford. Probably not falling too much farther as the clouds have moved in. Here's the leading edge of the rain working into Connecticut all the way back through Pennsylvania and New York State. That rain will kind of lift northward as we go through the morning tomorrow, giving us uh, just some scattered showers through the day. The storm system that we're watching will develop from some energy here and and a lot of moisture down near Florida. The two will combine to create a pretty good storm system off to our south and east over the next couple of days. Let's track it all with a hour by hour forecast. Cloudy skies, showers develop tonight around into the early part of the morning commute. And then look what happens. It all shifts to our north. We'll have lots of clouds, some glimmers of sun tomorrow, and temperatures may actually sneak into the 60s, especially near the south coast. We jump ahead into Monday night. Might find some showers and thunderstorms trying to come in but there's the center of low pressure associated with that nor'easter and look how the rain just kind of blossoms here in southern New England as that low gets closer and Tuesday afternoon as the low gets even a little closer the winds will really start cranking and we'll really start to see some heavier rain working into southern New England and this will stick around at least through Wednesday morning and then it slowly kind of moves away Wednesday afternoon so when uh, Monday breaks down like this we'll see some rain in the morning rain showers and drizzle and then as we head into the afternoon less of a chance of rain notice the precipitation chances are dropping temperatures topping out around 60 degrees or so now we look at Tuesday and Wednesday the impacts from it power outages are possible keep in mind the trees still have lots of leaves on them so with winds like this uh, generally between 40 and 50 miles an hour across most of Rhode Island could be looking at some power outages maybe up to 55 miles an hour in Newport County Block Island and over in southeastern Massachusetts wouldn't surprise me some gusts out here across eastern mass get up to 60 65 miles an hour how much rain looking at quite a bit and this is right through uh, wednesday evening generally between two and four inches of rain could be some higher amounts as well so a lot to track in the next couple of days here's a seven day forecast rain and wind for both tuesday and at least the first half of wednesday thursday the pick of the week right now sunshine temperature at 57 more showers arrive later friday continue into Saturday, kind of off and on, and then into early part of the day on Sunday. Full forecast can always be found at WPRI.com or on our Pinpoint Weather 12 app.